Okay, so continuing our coverage over the Dawn of X era of X-Men comics, we do pick up with Excalibur number 9. Now, with this opening pages, we kind of learn a little bit more on what Apocalypse is planning. And what I mean is this right here. So, Apocalypse is telling us that right now, the reason why he had the, the Excalibur team get those Warwolves heads in our last video is because he wants to use them as a way to send a message, a message to one certain character, and that character is Saturnine. Now, Saturnine is the leader of the Captain Britain Corp. So, in Marvel Comics, you have a Captain Britain in every single universe, but they all come together to protect all realities. Now, with that being said though, in Jonathan Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers, the Captain Britain Corp was wiped out completely. I mean, it was wiped out. But either way, this is Apocalypse telling us that it's back. But the problem is though, for some reason, the Excalibur team can't find the place, the base of the Captain Britain Corp. Because right now, Saturnine, the leader, she is cloaking the place. And so this is Apocalypse trying to send a message out saying, hey, we have a new Captain Britain. And yes, she is a mutant, but she is a Captain Britain, so she should be part of your Captain Britain Corp. Why are you hiding from us? Now, we do jump back over to the Excalibur team, who's right now chilling in the lighthouse, just trying to have a relaxing time, minding their business, having a good night. But that is the moment you have Psylocke, sorry, not Psylocke, Bessie Braddock, who's now Captain Britain, realized that someone is outside the lighthouse. And so with that being said, you do have Bessie Braddock go outside to see who it is. Now she knows who it is. It's her brother, Brian Braddock. Now remember, Brian Braddock was the original Captain Britain in Marvel Comics. But thanks to a few things happening in the Dawn of X era of X-Men Comics, he is no longer Captain Britain. Now, I do want to mention one more thing. If you want to get caught up to Captain Britain's storyline, go ahead and follow my Excalibur playlist because with that playlist, it will help you understand why Brian Braddock is acting like this. Because as soon as Bessie Braddock goes outside to see her brother, he disappears because he's trying to keep his distance. And so that's why I say you need to make sure you're following my playlist to get a better understanding on what is happening right now. But then we jump over to the Starlight Citadel. Now, of course, this is the home of Saturnine, the leader of the Captain Britain Corp, or she was. Now, with that being said, though, right now you have two random characters right now giving a message or some kind of bag over to Saturnine. Now, as soon as they give the bag over to her, well, that is the moment you have Apocalypse face appear. Because remember, Apocalypse is trying to send her a message. And it seems like that message is, hey, we have a new Captain Britain who needs to be part of your Captain Britain Corp. So why isn't she? But either way, though, Apocalypse appearing right now in the Starlight Citadel, and it's not like he's actually there. His face is just showing in the sky as a way to say, hey, I'm calling out to you, Saturnine. Answer my call. But as soon as Saturnine answers that message, the bells ring. And usually in the Starlight Citadel, if the bell rings, that means trouble is coming very soon. Now, we do pick up with the Coven of Akaba. Now, remember, the Coven of Akaba was a group of magic users that were working for Morgan Le Fay, the big bad guy in our earlier videos of Excalibur. Now, one of their leaders, Mariana, is very upset because she got word what's happening right now in Otherworld. In Otherworld right now, they have a new leader, and that new leader is not Morgan Le Fay. Instead, it is Jamie Braddock, the other brother of Bessie and Brian Braddock. And remember, Jamie Braddock is well known to the mutant race as a madman because he is crazy, but he's also very powerful. And I mean very powerful. He's able to warp reality. But of course, they're very upset. Now, with that being said, though, they do begin the process of doing a 
a ritual. And so right when someone agrees to be killed for their coven, we do see another person freak out and run out of the building. And the person who ran out of the building is Megan, the wife of the original Captain Britain, Brian Braddock. Now, with that being said though, the reason why Megan was in that building with the Coven of Akaba because she was going undercover for another character known as M13. Now, M13 is also a mutant, but he's kind of like your James Bond for Great Britain. And honestly, that's the truth. Like, he is literally James Bond. He's a government agent that works for Great Britain. Now, with that being said, he sent Magan in there to hopefully learn more about what the Coven of Akaba is planning. Because if he went in there, they will know a mutant was in there. But Magan is not a mutant. So she was able to go in there, gather information to tell M13. And you have her say, listen, they're trying to start a war with Jamie Braddock because Jamie is the new leader of Otherworld. Now, with that being said, though, that right there scares M13 because he knows that Jamie Braddock is a mad man. And so with that being said, it will be so easily to make him angry and go to war with Jamie. The problem is, though, Jamie is still one of the most powerful characters in Marvel Comics. But either way, you do have Megan say that Brian Braddock, the original Captain Britain, is not doing good right now. Because remember, in earlier stories, he was taken over. He was mind controlled by Morgan Le Fay. Ever since then, ever since he was able to break free, he has not been okay. But either way, you do have Megan leave. But right before she leaves, she does tell M13 that she does hope that him and Captain Britain, Bessie Braddock, do get together because they make a great couple. Now, we actually do jump back over to the Excalibur team. Now, with that being said, though, right now we see them traveling over to the Starlight Citadel. Now, they're not going inside the place right now. They're just going over there but they're gonna camp outside the place. Now, with that being said, this leads into a very important moment. And the reason why, because you have Rogue actually asked Bessie Braddock a couple more questions. The first question is, has she ever been inside the Starlight Citadel? And you have Psylocke, not Psylocke, sorry, Captain Britain say, yes, I have. But then you have Rogue ask about the Captain Britain Corp. Where, of course, you do have Psylocke, again, not Psylocke, Captain Britain say, yes, there was a Captain Britain Corp, but they're gone. They were destroyed. But, of course, she feels like something is going on, and Saturnine is not telling anyone. And so this is Bessie Braddock say she's determined to figure out what is going on with Saturnine, but also what is going on with the Captain Britain Corp. Now, we do jump over to Saturnine, who's right now talking to her people. Now, they are protectors of Otherworld. They are protectors of the Citadel. Now, with that being said, though, you do have Saturnine show us that she is very angry about Apocalypse Message because she feels like, as a protector of Otherworld, too much has been going on. First, there was Morgan Le Fay. Now, Apocalypse, a mutant is sending her a message. Now, she knows about Apocalypse, but this is Saturnine saying, listen, Apocalypse sending that message, it seems like a threat, a huge threat. And so with that being said, she's saying, guys, we need to prepare ourselves. They're on their way here to attack us. So let's attack them first. Now, we do jump back over to the Excalibur team, where right now you have Rogue and Bessie continuing their conversation. And Bessie is very concerned because Saturnine is the leader of all Captain Britons across all realities, and she has met with all of them. But for some strange reason, Bessie does not get the chance to actually meet Saturnine. Like Saturnine does not want to meet Bessie at all. And it seems like Saturnine may hate Betsy. But that is the moment you have our Excalibur team get attacked by the forces of Saturnine. And so with that, we do get a full out battle in the last few pages of this book. But of course, there is still something else we need to talk about. A way to lead this video on a cliff.
cliffhanger. And the last page, we kind of get reminded about Saturine's other ability. Not only really ability, but a magical thing she has in her bedroom, where she kind of throws a magical dust to her mirror. And when she does, the mirror will tell her any possible threats that could come to Otherworld and Starlight Citadel in the near future. And so, of course, when she does use that magical dust on her mirror, her mirror shows her a future, a future where there are more Captain Britons and of course, the new ones are all different members of the Excalibur team. And this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read, well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. Later, guys.